morning welcome in it's a beautiful beautiful morning it got a little chilly overnight i think it was like minus two celsius last night but uh yeah that was all right put the bunk heater on we had no problem sleeping but i've been driving now for about three and a quarter hours or something like that so uh yeah it was still dark this morning when i left but uh anyways just stopped her at the uh rest area but uh, just take a look at that right there just put a brand new windshield in last month the first week of uh, september and got a stone ship already but uh, oh well as long as it doesn't crack or anything like that i should be okay but uh the other uh, glass lasted me a couple of years i think uh yeah about two years i had the other windshield in and uh, just a challenge for you guys uh, give me an idea on what you guys think well, how much a uh, windshield like this costs for a Volvo leave it in down in the comments down below and I'll give you the answers later on but uh, anyways uh, just figure I'd give you guys a little bit of a challenge and see who knows how much a windshield costs for a Volvo but anyways with that out of the way I'll go grab me a bite to eat and I'll go have some cereal and uh, we'll be back later. Alrighty, here we go. Back on the roll. I'm gonna try and get home today. Should be home uh, early this afternoon. But uh, another two hours, I should be in Fargo. Probably gonna go uh, wash the truck up there and uh, we'll see what else I'll do. I might go over to Fargo there and the, the Petro there, <laughs> Petro truck stop. They, uh, they do wheel alignments up there. I may go over there and check to see if they're really busy, if they can take me in or not. If they're not super busy, maybe I'll, uh, I'll go in there and get a wheel alignment done, but we'll see. But anyways, just back on the road and put the hammer down. Alrighty, just went through Fargo. The uh, truck washers were all really, really busy up there. So I just went by them and went over to the Petro there and asked them if they would have time to do a wheel alignment. And yeah, a couple of hours and a couple of hours they might have time, they said, but uh, not right now so I don't feel like waiting there a couple of hours so whatever I just put the hammer down and go home I guess we'll do a wheel alignment another day and uh, I can wash the truck at home I got a pressure washer at home we'll see how cool it's going to be tomorrow and uh, if it's not too cool then I'll do it at home if it's a little too cold for me I'll go over to the Shell uh, gas station they got a truck wash in there and I can wash it there myself as well so go do it there I guess but uh, anyways uh, other than that it's been a good day it's nice and sunny it's not as windy not as windy as that as it has been in the last couple of days but uh, yeah so it's been a good day we'll be uh, we'll be home probably I don't know probably uh, about six o'clock tonight probably I'll be home I'll probably go to Winnipeg, drop this trailer in uh, Winnipeg Yard, probably. Unless dispatch tells me to go drop it directly at the customer, but uh, uh, we'll see what happens. Usually I just drop it at the terminal, so... But uh, anyways, we'll get rolling, uh, or we are rolling, but uh, we'll get home as soon as we can. We'll see you down the road. Alright, just coming up to the border. We'll be in Manitoba any minute now. As you can see right up there, that's where we have the border. So then we'll be in Canada, going across Amerson, Manitoba today. Yeah, it looks like it's getting a little cloudy. I hope it doesn't start snowing or raining. Well, I guess it's too warm to snow right now, but it could certainly snow overnight. No, it looks like it's not much of a lineup today. Looks like they got two booths open. That's good. Should be a quick pass going through there today, hopefully. 
Anyways, we'll see you on the other side. Alrighty, our Manitoba scale is open today. We'll go across here. It's the first scale I had to go over since I loaded in Chicago area. In 400 meters, slide left on King Street and then make a U turn if possible. In 50 meters, way station ahead. Let's see what kind of attitude we get up here today, I guess. Usually this scale has never bothered me yet, so I should be alright. We'll see. Always time, only time will tell, right? We always have to stop on this one before we get onto the scale, so make sure the scale is back to zero, you know? Plus I got any freeze with me and it's always shaky, so make sure that's good, you know? That's how I live. Yeah, 14, 3 kg. That's not bad. So I'm still within the legal even in the United States. That's good. Let's see what the trailer is going to scale at. Yeah, looking at 14, 15, 2. So 15, 2. So they're a little heavier on the back, but that's alright. Not too bad. Still within the legal limit, so. That's the way we like it, right? Well, they let us go, so they didn't give us a red light this time. This time I figured I'd film it, make sure I don't go past the light again, right? Anyways, put the hammer down home and we'll see what happens. Now that's a nice welcome sign, Winnipeg. Just coming into Winnipeg. That's good. I like it. That means I'm almost home. Just got to go do my trailer dropping. I already talked to dispatch. Just, I can just drop the trailer up here at our terminal here in Winnipeg. So that's good. Speed limit reduced ahead. We'll be able to just drop her and I don't know. I'll talk to the dispatch up here in Winnipeg and see if they have anything going back to Steinbeck yet. But uh, uh, generally I just bobtail back home but uh, anyways it's nice to come back in Winnipeg I'll be home this weekend again I'm just gonna take the weekend off I don't care I worked every weekend last month so I think it's time to take a couple of weekends in a row off right but uh, yeah alrighty just finished dropping our trailer as you can see, we got a whole yard full of trailers up here in uh, Winnipeg, Manitoba. And uh, didn't get anything from here to go back home to, but uh, so just gonna go Bob till back home now. So, anyways, uh, see you down the road. Alrighty, I have made it home. Look at this. Uh oh. I guess he will need some hugs, so I better go. So, see you tomorrow at 5 a.m.